What up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch. So in our first retro pop culture news of the week, the Nintendo Entertainment System, which is one of my favorite systems of all time, it is back in a huge way. But this time, our beloved Mondo Cool Gaming System from the 1980s is coming to HBO Max just in time for the holiday season with a new movie all about a group of kids that are on the hunt for a Nintendo Entertainment System for Christmas, or as us 80s kids like to call it, the NES. All right, the movie, it focuses on Neil Patrick Harris as a grown-up Jake. He's telling his children all about him and his friends in this awesome crusade to find and play the elusive Nintendo Entertainment System and how awesome it was for him to get to play the greatest video game system of all time for Christmas. Now the trailer, it really does bring out all those nostalgia inducing feelings and all of those throwbacks and memories of how Christmas was in the 80s. But on top of that, we get to relive just how big Nintendo was, not just for kids, but also adults and parents. Up until the introduction of Nintendo, most kids were hitting up the arcades and dumping loads of quarters in their favorite games and playing some not so graphical games on Coleco and Atari. Nintendo, it was a game changer. Now, those games that we played at the arcade, we were now able to play them at home. So no more starving yourself over your lunch money just to spend it at the arcade after school. Your home was the arcade now. And if you owned a Nintendo, you were definitely the envy of the neighborhood. The movie is called 8-Bit Christmas, and here's what New Line Cinema and HBO Max describe it as. A humorous and heartfelt look back at the adventures of childhood set in suburban Chicago in the late 1980s. The story centers on 10-year-old Jake Doyle's Herculean quest to get the latest and greatest video game system for Christmas. From what I saw of the trailer for 8-Bit Christmas, it looks really great, and I'm real excited to see what this is going to look like on November 24th. I remember when I first got the NES when I was younger, I was playing Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, which actually came with the system, and I believe I was playing that thing for like months and months until I got Zelda. Now that game, it blew my mind. But I want to hear what you guys think about this new movie that's coming out all about the Nintendo. Let me know what your experience also is about when you first got your Nintendo. I would like to hear all about it in the comments down below. Then next, real quick, there is a final trailer trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife before it actually hits theaters on November 19th and uh, I'll link to that down below but I didn't see Vinkman or Stance in it yet although we did hear them but um, I, it does seem like it does give a little bit more detail but I'll link to that down below so you guys can tell me what you thought. Then two more things real quick the new reboot of Head of the Class it just premiered on HBO Max on November 4th. I haven't seen it yet but I hope to get a chance to watch it soon but if you've seen it already let me know what you thought about it. And Play-Doh is now selling Play-Doh Grown Sense 90s Edition on Amazon. Apparently they have a bunch of scents that 90s kids are really going to remember. Oh and here's the names of them. We have Ode to Boy Band, VHS Rental and Chill, Pump Up the Jams, Dial Up Delight, Mall Food Court, and Flannel Fresh. I'm really curious about this actually. I think I'm going to try to get my hands on one and maybe do a review of it. And finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.